Hi, my Cedar Ridge Productions. We're going to build a box blind. How we got here was after years and years of hanging off of tree stands in the ice and the rain and the snow and the sun and the bugs, we decided that, you know, it's about time that we, we start doing something a little bit different. Uh, so we started looking into uh, a box blind. One of the first things that we noticed with uh, commercially built box blind, there's some nice stuff out there for sure. Price, you can range anywhere from $2,500, $3,000, up north of $10,000. Uh, and you, you, I believe in something like that, you do get what you pay for. Well, even though price is a consideration, it wasn't the biggest hurdle for us. The biggest hurdle for us was the maneuverability. We are predominantly bow hunters and we like to get into the areas uh, where the, you know, the bucks like to roam and we got limited yardage. Although last year we started shooting with a crossbow that opened up a whole new, whole new realm of, uh, of shooting. But we're still, still even with a crossbow, I don't know any one of us that's willing to take a shot at anything over 50 yards. Yeah, 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 I know. Guys are shooting out in 80, 90 yards. Yeah, that's, that's for them. That's not for us. We don't want to do that. But it does add about maybe 20 yards to our effective range. But still, these commercially built box blinds, you know, they, they, they're heavy. They're big. Uh, 800 pounds, 1,000 pounds. And then, you know, when you get them on a tractor and you get it up 9, 10 feet where most a lot of uh, buckets will reach, and, yeah, it just didn't sound like something we wanted to mess with. We did see one that was commercially uh, commercially built and it was a modular design. We kind of liked that idea. So we started looking around at, you know, what's, what are people building? We looked at YouTube, a lot of videos like YouTube. What are people building? So we've seen some good designs. Uh, in fact, we've incorporated some of them. The, the problem is there again, it was stuff that people were putting together in their, in their garage and in the driveway and then they, they haul it out to where they're going and they, they got, you know, five, ten of their buddies there and, and, and you know, they're all hunting out of a bean field and they can shoot 300 yards in every direction so placement isn't all that critical, you know, not dogging that, but that's just not where we're going to be, that's just not where we're going to go. So we needed to have a, a, the ability to put our box blind where we wanted to with limited resources as far as you know, uh, help is concerned. We do have a tractor, so 800 pounds is not that big of an issue. But 800 pounds at ground level and 800 pounds nine feet in the air, that's not the same weight. And where we're going is, it's, uh, Kind of a squirrely area we call it the suck so we started looking around at these different plans and we incorporated some ideas from here and some ideas from there and we put them all together and the most important thing was trying to keep the weight down to a manageable uh, level so that one maybe two guys could handle it and more importantly being able to put it where we want we wanted to be our target height was 10 foot. We would be okay with eight, 12 would be nice, but really what we're looking at doing is going about 10 feet and putting the platform up. And where we're haunting, in one place we have a location figured out, uh, it's, it's almost a high spot in the area. So when you take the 10 foot tower and you take the fact that everything else is dropping off, at a pretty pretty good rate after that, you know, where we're most of the time we take our shot, those those deer are going to be down about 20 feet below us. So yeah, good good to go. So that's that's what we wanted to do. So we came up with an idea, and this is a prototype, and I'm actually sitting on it because I've been building it after I did the prototype, and the reason was that even though I thought maybe I would want to share this on YouTube, I found a really hard I found it hard to find a camera or some kind of stuff that would give me the kind of quality that I wanted to put on a YouTube channel. And I, I've tried a couple of different things, Amazon, send it back, you can come again, send it back. Um, there's a package right now, sending it back. 
So right now I'm just using my phone and I'm not sure how well this is going to uh, turn out. So anyway, I might be wasting my time. Uh, so anyway, what, we, what I did was uh, I built this prototype to scale because I wanted to see how it was going to get together before I started handling large items. I wanted to get an idea, a feel for the stuff on a smaller scale, something a little bit more manageable. So I'm going to go right now and I'm going to check this phone camera to make sure that it's going to give you the image because then we're going to, I'm going to show you the concept behind this modular design box fly. I'm going to turn around and I'm going to make sure that it gets all on the, on the video.